Hey guys and girls, what's going on? Viridia here. And uh, first off, I want to say sorry because I got a cold. Um, but I had something on my mind that I really wanted to discuss today. And so I'm going to do that. Um, last night when I, was, when I was trying to go to sleep, I was watching a speed run of one of my favorite games of all time when I was a kid. And that's uh, Yoshi's Island. Uh, Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island for the Super Nintendo. I love that game. Um, it is literally probably my favorite Mario game of that era, uh, even better than Super Mario World itself. <clears throat> it's just got so much to it. The art style is amazing and stuff like that. And so I, and I remembered, hey, they're, they're coming out with a new one for the 3DS. So I decided to start looking that up and uh, you know, doing a little bit more research on it. And I don't know if it's just me, but I think... I'm pretty sure the game looks terrible to me. Like, <laughs> I'm going to explain myself a little bit, but I'm mainly talking about the graphics and something that Nintendo has done, has been doing uh, as they've gotten older. Um, first of all, I understand what aesthetic they're going for. They're going for to make the game look like the cutscenes did in the original Yoshi's Island. And that's okay, whatever. The problem that I have is that at what point did the game industry decide that using pixels um, and creating two-dimensional sprites like the original Yoshi's Island was a sin and they had to use polygons to create you know, three-dimensional looking things like, like what we're seeing now with this crayon drawn Yoshi and all that stuff. Who decided, other than indie developers, that that wasn't okay to do anymore? Why aren't we seeing any more two-dimensional Mario games or 2D Yoshi's Island games or 2D Kirby games and stuff like that? Why 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 did they why why do they have to feel the need to push this 3D graphics thing now that we can do it? Just because we can doesn't mean we should. Can you imagine if a new 2D Mario with actual sprites came out again, a new one? And Mario, yeah, he looked better than he did in Mario World, and, and, and we played a 2D Mario for real this time, instead of having three-dimensional sprites put it... I mean, because it seems, it seems lazy to me in a way, where Mario changed. The way he looked changed with every Mario game, from Mario Brothers to Mario Brothers 2 to Mario Brothers 3 to Mario World. They changed. They got a little bit, I guess, better every time. And now, it's just copy and paste. It's like, here's a, oh, let's just add the Mario render in there because that's what Mario looks like. And now he's doing 2D side-scrolling, and now he's doing 3D scrolling, or 3D uh, environments and stuff like that. And, I don't know, it just kind of, it, it takes something away from it to me. Um, it kind of bugs me. I'm not saying these games are bad, I'm just saying it, it kind of irks me a little bit. So watching... Watching footage of Yoshi's New Island, which I encourage you to go check out, Yoshi's New Island um, footage, which I, I don't think I'm going to show any here because I don't have any of my own. Um, I'll put a link to some in the in, from GameSpot. But when you look at it, it just it looks weird to me. It, just the movement. Don't just look at pictures. Look at video. It just looks kind of odd and out of place. Like... And that's another thing that Nintendo is doing. It seems that I really don't enjoy, and it's like they make the they make the characters so large on the screen. If you look at the original Yoshi's Island, Yoshi, he just takes up like I don't know a thirtieth of the page or thirty. I don't know, just this little bit of the page. You know, if this is the screen, if this whole thing is the the game screen, this is about how big he is. And now the new Yoshi, he's like this big in the screen, and then he gets an egg that's this big, so him and the egg are taking up most of the screen, he throws the egg, the egg can't even be on the screen at all times, because it's so big, I don't know, there's something floaty looking about it, now I haven't actually played the game, so I don't know for sure, but it looks so floaty, and kind of, I don't know, it doesn't look true to the way that the, the old game felt, which that's what got me thinking about this, because if you've ever watched a speed run of Yoshi's Island from somebody like Trihex or Carl Sagan. These guys have been playing this game for so long. I mean, they can. It's a it's a mastery of a system that works so well that they're just flinging eggs all over the screen and 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 getting all the all the power ups, all the flowers, all the coins, and all that stuff with just eggs. And they're 
They're doing it super fast. This game does not look like it could be played that way. Now, it could be the people playing the game in the demos, but man, it just, it looks so floaty to me. I'm just really disappointed. That I mean, that, that's not even like... I've been, I've been playing uh, uh, Super Mario... New Super Mario Brothers 3D World. We'll assume that's the name. I don't remember anymore. There's so many... It's not Mario 3 or Mario 2 anymore. It's New Super Mario 3D World. or So I can't remember. Anyway, I've been playing that for the Wii U. And um, <clears throat> it's a beautiful game. It really is. But I started... Again, analyzing why don't I feel the same way about this game that I did when I was a kid, or even now, that I do about Mario 3 and Yoshi's Island and stuff like that. I realize that there's a disconnect between the levels. When you go into a level in Super Mario World, you see the background, you see the, the mountains, and you see the, the hills, or even on the DS when you were playing uh, Super Mario, uh, New Super Mario Brothers you were running on the ground, you could see the castle in the background, or you could see the, if you're in the ice world, you could see the ice slopes and all that, and when you were nearing the castle at the end, you could see the castle in the background, you're like, oh, there it is, I'm, I'm almost there. In these games, they it's like they just take a big piece of air, and then they build a level on it, and then you're floating in the air, like you're on this stage in the air. And that to me, disconnects me from the game. I'm not playing in a world, I'm playing in an arena. And it just bugs the crap out of me. I love the game. I'd give it a 9.5. It's brilliant. I've been playing it so much. But this is just a personal thing, where like on a personal level, this has really started to bother me about some Nintendo games. Now, the new Kirby for the 3DS looks really good. You know, it's it, it doesn't do much... What the changes that it does don't change the aesthetic, it changes the, the mechanics of the game. So I'm okay with that. It's just some of these things that they're doing with Mario and all this, I don't like it. I, I think that they should go back. And more than anything, I think, why can't we have another pixelated Mario game? Because you know what? If I had a pixelated Mario game that took me as long to beat as the, the new Mario for the Wii U, I would buy it for $60. Because I still play... Honest to God, and I, a lot of you probably do too, I still play my pixelated Mario games today and can definitely say that it was worth the money when I bought them for the first time when I was probably seven or eight. So if I'm still playing them today, that means there's something to them. This game, I'll beat it. Probably won't play it again. It's not going to stick out to me like Super Mario Bros. 3. And you hear that all the time. You hear Mario Bros. 3, Super Mario World, all of these things. The reason you hear about them is because they were so damn good they stuck out. You don't hear people saying, yeah, dude, just popped in that new Super Mario Bros. for the DS, man. That, that was a classic. Or that new Super Mario Bros. Wii. That was, a, that was one hell of a classic, man. What are you talking about, Super Mario Bros. 3? I don't even know what you're talking about. You don't hear that because they just don't stand out. The reason they don't stand out, I think, is because that they've upgraded. They've gone on from sprite-based gameplay to, to this new 3D thing, which just doesn't have that appeal to me. To a lot of us, it would seem. I don't know. I want your opinion. I want a forum where I can discuss Yoshi's, Yoshi's New Island and these things with Nintendo. Engage. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm crazy. Maybe it really does look that good, and nobody else seems to notice but me because I'm such a big fan that, um, yeah, that it just doesn't look as good. Let me know in the comments, please. That's why this video is here. I want to talk to you about it. And I want to thank you so much for watching. I'm Viridia, and I'm out. We'll see you next time.